Hi, welcome back, guys. This is lecture three of uh, the online lecture series of the channel Mechanical Engineering Explained. Here, I have taken the topic air refrigeration cycle, or uh, which is also called Bell-Coleman cycle or reverse Brayton cycle or Joule cycle. So, air refrigeration cycle it is basically used for refrigeration purpose for aircrafts aeroplanes fighter jets because at such high altitude air is plenty air is available in plenty quantity and uh, so by use of air refrigeration can be achieved so how the cycle works and what are its advantages how the cop is derived everything i will explain in this video stay tuned let's start so this is the basic ts diagram and pv diagram of air refrigeration system from 1 to 2 it is isentropic compression from 2 to 3 it is constant pressure heat rejection from 3 to 4 isentropic expansion and from 4 to 1 constant pressure heat absorption from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 1 4 to 1 heat absorption that is refrigeration effect and 2 to 3 that is heat rejected that is out to the atmosphere in pv diagram you can see this is the pv diagram from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 1 all right now we know that cop is t lower upon t higher minus t lower that is t1 upon t2 minus t1 since t2 is the highest temperature and t1 t1 we have taken lower here because the inlet to the system is at t1 temperature not t4 so we will be taking t1 and highest is t2 so t1 upon t2 minus t1 is equal to dividing numerator and denominator by t1 it becomes 1 upon t2 minus 1 upon t2 by t1 minus 1 all right and by this relation for isentropic process t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 ki power gamma minus 1 upon gamma where p2 by p1 is termed as pressure ratio it is denoted by r suffix p and cop then can be written as 1 upon t2 by t1 minus 1 that is t2 by t1 is replaced by p2 by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma which in turn p2 by p1 is rp so 1 upon rp to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 so this is the cop of the system so now what are the advantages associated with a refrigeration system it has low operating cost that is low weight of refrigerator per ton of refrigeration since we know that already the weight of the aircraft is very much uh, in tons so if we use conventional vars or vcrs system at that altitude it would add be additional cost as well as the overall weight would be very much higher so it will be very difficult whereas uh, by using air refrigeration system since air is plenty available at the atmosphere and uh, the system is simple to employ and there is no chance of leakage and if leakage occurs that is of air so no damage to the passengers and uh, so this is all about air refrigeration system i hope you guys understood and uh, i will be keeping posting uh, similar videos of various topics in mechanical engineering and uh, please guys stay tuned if you have any doubt please write in the comment section like the video share the video and subscribe thank you signing off bye bye